Hey guys, we back once again with the next part of our Digimon playthrough. Now, if you guys missed the end of the last episode, unfortunately, we had um, a very sad passing of someone important to the, the series. Obviously, our first um, lad, Digimon, friend, amigo, companion, whatever you want to call it, Phil, sadly passed away and we had a lot of um, emotional responses to that. Now, we are here at the next part of the journey. And we got great feedback from you guys from the poll on Twitter and also in the comments down below. So first and foremost, a lot of you guys wanted to give our new Digimon a fresh name because you thought that it was befitting that we had Phil. He was um, a great part of the playthrough, but because we're moving into our next Digimon, we should rename them. And I think that's quite um, adaptly so. So we will definitely be doing that. Secondly, we also voted in the poll to choose which egg we wanted next and I think the vast majority, I'll throw the poll up now on screen, but the vast majority of you guys wanted to go with this little bad boy here. So without further ado, I'm going to turn the music back up for this part of the playthrough because as you'll see just now, the music for this part is quite obnoxiously loud but we will pick this and jump straight into chapter 11. Here we go. So, we're going to take this little fellow right here. And I believe this guy is going to turn into Poyamon, who I think, if my memory serves me correctly, will turn into um, Tokemon or something like that. Uh, I guess we'll see as we go. So, you can change the name, Phil, if you want to. We are going to go ahead and tell Digimon that we want a new name and reset Phil. So... I wanted to call this new guy Charlie, but I don't think Charlie fits, unfortunately. So we are going to go with the other backup name of Max, which is nice and simple. Is Max okay? Well, it's not quite Charlie, which I was really looking forward to calling our Digimon, but, you know, we can call him Max, Charlie, whatever the hell we want. So, okay. And with that, we have a new Digimon. So this little guy is... Age zero, he is indeed Poimon, so I'm glad we got that right. And his stats are way, way back to um, shrimp boat nonsense. So, with that, this little guy is not going to last very long. But one little trick we can do with this guy is visit the shop real quick. Because there is, there is a little sneaky hidden ability that when you take baby Digimon into the shop, you receive a discount. Now, we don't actually have a huge desire for items because we, oh, in fact, we do actually. We need some medium recoveries and MP floppies. And we also need to buy some small things because now that we've went back to baby form, we won't need to be using medium recoveries and medium MP floppies in battles because that would just be a straight up waste or inefficient use of our resources. So, we will be buying, let's see here, Mean as well buy a bunch of this while it is going to be cheap. I thought that... Let me just check real quick. Well, let's just talk to Poyum, or this little guy over here, rather. Because I'm pretty tell you... So he gives you some information about buying items from the store, right? How he worked the store, I guess, if you need a tutorial on that. Um, and I'm pretty sure he says something... Alright, right after Digivolution, try to buy something... Um, and something good should happen. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll leave the store for just now and we will take this guy real quick into the gym because if you guys have played this game before or even any sort of Digimon game before in which baby Digimon exist, you will know that they don't actually last in this form for a very long time. So we'll pass the time by running up to the gym in a second. I just want to check. I think we actually have our meat for the day, but I'll check anyway. Yep, we do. And also, we bought an item on the 18th, so Dramojimon, um, we sent Dramojimon off on the 18th to buy things. And as it's a three-day cycle, he is not back yet, being the 20th. And so we don't really have much else to do for now. Let's just jump into the gym and we can talk about where we're going to take this little fellow. Because obviously the path of Digivolution is quite broad, depending on what decisions we make. And this could go either way. So let's just train this guy's speed up real quick. And I think this little fellow will only stay in this form for a couple of hours at most. Let's do his speed again. And see if we get to proc anything soon. So do we have small meats? We have Digimushrooms, magic. At some point in the set, we'll stick our quick chip in the bank as well and get that stored away so that we don't accidentally use it somewhere or um, lose it, I guess, to 
some sort of epic rogue battle in which our new Digimon don't quite live up to or if Max doesn't live up to the expectations of Phil because obviously Phil was an ultimate and he would have been kicking ass. Max is a fresh little guy and we have to remember that. So let's put ourselves to sleep and I think when we wake up this guy will digivolve. Because they're babies they constantly um, have little naps through the day which is kind of cute I guess. And we don't actually digivolve just yet. His nap didn't actually last for a long time. Let's stick our chip in the bank while we're here. His nap didn't last for a long time. I guess he just went for an hour's snooze, which is kind of cute. Hey, we had a Phil clone in here and now we have a Max clone in here as well. This is kind of weird, completely unintentional. Let's stick our medium MPs in there. And we could also, oh, hang on our offense discs for now, I guess. Stick in a quick chip. Um, we'll keep a few medium recoveries just in case. Do we have anything we could take out right now? That would benefit our little baby Max? No. Okay, so let's just leave that for now. We will dash across back to the gym. And do a bit more buffing of this little guy. Try and get him to proc his digivolution. Do, do, do. So yeah, thanks very much for voting in the poll. If you guys... Uh, for those of you who did that, that was kind of awesome to see. We got more votes than I expected. Um, and yeah. Max isn't digivolving yet, god bless. Stick him in here, in the waterfall of dreams. And yesterday we missed an episode. Again, that was partly because, one, I wanted a rest. But also, two, um, I gave you guys a chance to catch up on the episode if you had been doing other things during the... The last few days and you wanted to also contribute to the choice of which egg we were going to be picking so our first little baby is going to pop up into his next stage which isn't that much bigger but still it's a little we'll get a little stat buff here and we will get Tokemon who is slightly cute now let's have a quick peek at Tokemon's stats because they will have went up well in fact I don't know if they did go up probably not that much this guy's still pretty... We're not going to be taking him into battles just yet, I don't think. But if we look at our Digivolution chart, we obviously started with Phil, who went into Greymon, into Metal Greymon. And now we have our new baby, who only has one Digivolution choice into this guy. And this little fellow, Tokemon, will have two Digivolution options. Now, one of these is Patamon, and one of these is Biomon. Now, I have in mind which one I would like to get, but obviously, sometimes... It should be pretty easy to get because you can only there's only like a 50-50 and we can pretty much um, manipulate the stats to get whichever one we want. But that being said, sometimes I have thought I was going to get something in the past and it went into something completely different. So with that in mind, we have just digivolved. Let's see if our little red friend in the shop was talking the truth and see if we can get a digivolution bonus discount on it, any items that we buy. Because I, even if the discount isn't that much... Um, it's still cool to save a bit of money because we are still really low on funds at this point of the playthrough. We bought a lot of items when we were doing grinding to try and get some of the bigger moves in the game, which knocked back our costs quite a lot. So, we have just digivolved, but the prices are still the same. I don't know if it's going to give us a discount later on. It probably isn't, but anyway, we'll buy... Oh yeah, we did. We got it right there. Okay, so let's have a look at the next one. Um, we'll, buy some... we'll buy 10 medium recoveries, even though we're not going to use these right now. We actually get a discount of 800, so the discount's pretty crap, but at the same time, we're not going to complain. We are going to need some small recoveries for this little guy. It's a 10% discount by the looks of things. And we're going to buy 10 medium floppies. And we're going to buy some meats and some autopilots. Because we don't want to be wasting our sirloins on the little guys unless we are actually trying to buff weight. Which we will be doing at some point. But we can use meats and digi mushrooms for now. Stock up our sirloins, picking those up every day. And we can stick those either in the bank or hang on to them. So let's just quickly fix our inventory real quick. Because it is messy as shit. You can tell my OCDs appear in here guys that you've, uh, you might not have seen before. Let's stick that. So that for, for now that will be perfect. So we actually don't have that much to be doing with this little guy We will be spending a lot of um, baby form in or I guess this is in training form at this point We will be taking this guy in the gym for quite a while and when we get to rookie stage We'll take him out into the world and start doing battles earning some stats that way 
but for now we will uh, be training up his stats because we don't want to take him out and basically get his ass pummeled into the ground so let's do some training now whether we go for which Digivolution, so for Tokemon, the two options are to go into Beamon or Patamon as we discussed. Or did we discuss that? I can't remember. But let's feed him some meat. I would like, and I don't know what you guys think about this, but I think that we would like to go through the Digivolution chain of going Tokemon into Beamon, Beamon into Birdramon, and then Birdramon into Phoenixmon. Now, if that doesn't happen... We could also get Beomon into Airdramon. We could also get... I can't even remember. We could end up with Angemon if we get, accidentally get Patamon. There's a whole bunch. There's Unimon in there somewhere. So depending on where we go with our Digivolution, we could aim for Beomon into Birdramon. But with Birdramon, I know you need plus three care mistakes, which I don't normally try and get care mistakes. But if that's a necessity, we could do that. I think what we will do is end up, we'll just try and go for, we'll use Birdramon as our, Beomon into Birdramon as our target, and if it goes askew somewhere, then we can re-replan, re because there are backup things that I was thinking about that we could do if we accidentally digivolve into someone other than our target, so we'll just go with the flow, I guess, and see how we get on. So we'll rest Max a little second there, this guy's hungry as a motherfucker, so... Let's continue to feed him. As you can tell when we talked to Centaramon there, he didn't. we didn't actually have to rest, Max. But still, I like to do it every now and then if we haven't been to sleep in a while. And just keep our Digimon in a healthy spot. It also benefits if you've been doing HP and MP training. You can also do a bit of resting because that'll put your stats back up to full. If you haven't noticed before you accidentally go into battle somewhere. And you think you've got all this HP when you don't actually have that, so... Let's see, what have we not done yet? Let's put up our defense and brains. Okay, let's do, we'll do another sp spot in speed. I think this little guy is going to be like this for at least two days. So, do we need to go to sleep there? Nope. This little guy is a night owl apparently. Or he will be for a little while longer. Put brains up a little bit. And with that time to go to sleep but not before we feed them so now that it is into the next day after we wake up do you still need fed no we will be able to pick up our meat and speak to dromojimon so we can do that after we do a bit of training in the morning so so because we need to go to the bathroom we mean as well do all of our things now because we're going in that direction anyway what we'll probably do is after we pick up our veggies after we pick up our um, item from Dromojimon, whatever that's going to be, we can probably do a bit of the, um, we'll do an edit skip for some of the training to the point where we digivolve because I don't want you guys sitting like bored out of your skull watching us train this little bad boy. So what, that, I think that's what we'll do until we get to our digivolution point. So Dromojimon, what have you got for us today? We got a large MP. So again, because we only sent him on the three day expedition, we can't expect expect a massive um, reward from this guy but still a large MP isn't that bad we can't knock that we could also always sell it and make back more money than what we did for paying him to go and find it so there's that option as well but for now we're going to go back to the gym we're going to train up and see where this guy's digivolution takes us again we've got two options Patamon or Beomon and we'll see which one we get so I'll see you guys in a bit all right digivolution time folks we're back so, again, I've just told you guys what the two options were, so I don't need to tell you this again, but we will see which way Max decides to go. You're going to listen to Max. All right, okay. I thought the emulator was going to bug out, and it he does the squeak noise all through the Digivolution. I guess he's excited to be transforming into Beamon. So, the reason we got Beamon is because our speed stat was the highest when we started the Digivolution process, and with this little guy, we have a number of options. So... Because we can't see the chart, we can't see like who we can digivolve into, but we know from well past experience and from using resources on the internet that we, well, we've got five choices. We want to be going into Bodramon, and because we're going there from 
from Beaumont, we already have a slight advantage, but that being said, we need to get three care mistakes and our speed needs to remain as the highest stat at 100 when we digivolve. So our speed is already very, very close to 100, but at the same time, we also have to keep that, I think it's like 10% of your HP or something, and our weight needs to be somewhere between 15 and 25. So with that, let's take Max down into the native forest to see how she gets on against some of these Betamon. Now we have a bunch of recoveries if things go pear shaped, so it shouldn't be it shouldn't be too bad. We can actually well, we've picked up a, a new move, anyways, electric uh, cloud, and that's because when you digivolve into a baby, I think from a baby into a fresh Digimon, you pick up their base move, which in this case is electric cloud. But we got to also do Spitfire, which is nice, and heat laser, which is actually pretty impressive. We didn't have that before when we had our when we had Phil. Let's find out how we get on against Betamon. Now, I have been training MP a tiny bit so that we could like sustain these fights for a little while. So we won't be starting at max MP, but still we should be more than fine. Again, we have plenty of items in terms of recoveries to keep us afloat. So there is Electric Cloud. I'm pretty sure you've seen other Digimon using that on us in the past. Here we go, like this Betamon. We're going to stock back up our MP. That definitely needs to get trained up ASAP so that we can uh, fight these fights for longer. I wasn't actually... Sh oh my fucking goodness. Well, that's something that we need to be uh, careful of. Getting one shot of a Betamon and his Ice Ball. That would have been... Um, that would have been traumatic. I think what we'll do is take our little friend back up and grind that HP stat up just a little bit more in case shit like that blows us up in the future so we didn't actually um fare too badly against that guy apart from our near-death experience we'll come back there in just a little bit when we do some more grinding of the hp because i don't want max to be getting uh her face blown off is max a boy or a girl that's something that we haven't uh, actually talked about i'm gonna say that max is a girl we chose a unisexual name because in comparison to when we had Phil, we knew Phil was a guy from the start. We were never, like, we started with Agamon, so we never... I guess Agamon could be a girl, but I don't know if you guys would think that was weird or not. I'm, I'm down for gender equality and all that fun stuff. But, um... I guess with Beowon, a bright pink bird... Could be a guy, I guess. Who knows? We're going to assume that Max is a girl, I think. And if we digivolve into Birdramon and then later on into potentially Phoenixmon, just throwing that out there, then that kind of affirms that notion that she is a girl. So we will see how we go from now. Rest up a little bit, get some of our stats back and visit the bathroom. I think what we can start doing now is because we are now looking to move into champion form, we can start feeding Max sirloins because we want to be getting the weight stat up to around 15 and 25 I think it is and we can adjust that using the sirloins because obviously sirloins throw your weight up quite a lot How his weight right now is actually at 11 so maybe for now what we can do is it's it's really easy to put your weight up in this game but sometimes it's quite difficult to get it to fall back down I know that sounds counterintuitive based on what we've had before because a lot of the time we were racing to try and get our weight up and it, sometimes the game like throws your weight down in massive chunks but for the most part, it is easier to get your, your weight gains up. So maybe we'll feed Max small meats for now. And then when it comes closer to Digivolution time, we will consider um, maybe throwing her uh, some extra sirloins to get those last few hurdles of weight gains. So with a bit of that and a little bit of this, we will get our... Our ability to fight for longer up in battle which is um quite important given that we want to be training against people in the forest this is going to save us burning through resources and things like that let's go to sleep and when we wake up we'll head back to the forest so we're not fighting against betamon because it's night time but let's see what these little chumps have got to say and uh, now we can't really get one shot so that takes that threat off of the table hopefully we can get poisoned, which pisses me off. Something chronic, but... Oh well, what can you do? Thundercloud actually does, or Electric Cloud, actually does quite a lot of damage. 
when it lands. It does take a bit of travel time and so sometimes it can uh, be interrupted and stuff like that. But <laughs> we'll see how we, how we get on. Max is actually... Her speed is the highest stat that she has. But at the same time, it's still really low. So there will be a few of these battles where it looks like these guys are just running about doing the cha-cha slide without actually fighting. Nice one. So, first Dokemon down of the training session. Let's see the stat gains. Actually pretty damn good. So, not so bad at all. Again, the reason why we're training in the forest as opposed to training on the machines is because although battles do pass time in this game, it doesn't pass, pass as much time as training. Plus, we will probably, right now at current form, be gaining a bit more stats than we would from training anyway, even though it's split across. So if you train in the gym, you pass a full hour, whereas when we train in these fights, I think it's like, it's either one third of, of an hour or like half of an hour or something like that. So we're gonna be want to be training against these little fools for now. <laughs> it's quite funny because Max's little, little like static, I'm trying to think of the word, pixelated form looks quite like a chocobo and I don't know if that's intentional or not, probably not, from uh, Final Fantasy. Oh, oh could, we get, could we see a finisher here? I don't think so. No, you're going to get heat lasered, my friend. If he had blocked that, we might have got to see Beomon's ultimate move, which, truthfully, I don't actually think is that insane, but, you know. Again, good uh, stats, and we're going to pick up a Varius from this guy, I think. So if we get transformed back into silly mode, we do not have to dance around for as long. So, let's feed you a... We'll just keep feeding you Digimushrooms, actually. Balance this out a little bit. Nice one. So, let's head on down to Chinatown and then come back into this area and reset these guys. We could go again into the next area. In fact, let's let's do that for a change of scenery and see who we uh, can find in here. Any special goodies to pick up? We can pick up a happy mushroom from that corner as we did earlier on in the series. But not this time. So, yo Jimmy, let's go. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Sick. Oh. So you've got to learn. You've got to learn to respect the Dukes. Young uh, nighttime worm. We're gonna use a small MP floppy, I think here. If we would stop getting our ass beat, that would be great. Getting poison sucks. Can we get this over in time? Hopefully we can. Nice one. Dancing with death a little here again. If these uh, these Dukemon are a little bit faster, they could put us in a bad spot. So I'd like to finish off some of these battles quite promptly. And get away from this area. Decent. And we're going to pick up another Varus for our troubles. Sweet! We can't be fighting against the Vegemon down here, I don't think. We, we can, but he might just smash us in the face. So for now, we will hold off in that fight. Can we get the three mushroom proc? Nope, we cannot. So, going for Phoenixmon. You guys can let me know down in the comments what you think about that. I have saw an overwhelming majority of comment people talking about Phoenixmon, even though she hadn't appeared yet in the series. So I think a lot of you guys will be fairly chuffed with that decision. Um... Obviously, we could go into other branches, and I'm happy to hear what you guys have to say on that front. But I think I think Phoenix Mon will be a good choice. The only thing that is making me kind of swither about it is because, obviously, we had Greymon, who was a Fire-type Digimon. So maybe it would be nice to go for something different. If we were to, say... F let's say we accidentally fell into Airdramon instead of Birdramon, who I think can actually go into Phoenix Mon anyway... We could also potentially go into Megadramon instead of Phoenixmon when we hit ultimate form, assuming we can hit those um, Digivolution stats and requirements. We could also go from someone like Angemon. Oh, well, actually, I don't know if we can go into Angemon from Beamon anymore. We could potentially go into... Hmm, I'm not sure who else... But we could we could definitely figure something out. You guys be f be free to let me know down in the comments what you guys think. 
And if you've got any other shouts that you'd like to suggest and put forward, then I'm happy to hear them, obviously. We'll do this one last battle, then hit, head back to the gym and do a bit more grinding for the day. Let's just skip a chunk of problems here. I don't know if you guys have seen this for the first time, I think it could be, but that's how that item works. Alright guys, we're going to hit the gym once again. We will see you guys in a tiny bit. Alright, we're actually back super quick guys, sooner than I thought we were going to be. I think what I'll do is just talk you guys through what we're going to do here with our first care mistake. Now this pains me more than it should, more than you guys know, right? When I was younger, I was one of these guys who was like extra super OCD about feeding your Digimon and making sure everything was done perfect. You know, sometimes I would take a shit on the floor and then I would load the save up because it pissed me off that much, right? Now, for Bergemon, we need plus three care mistakes. Now, I don't want Max to be shitting on the floor, so that is completely, um, well, not completely out of the question, but I don't really want to do that. So what I think we will do is, because I also like the ability to go to sleep and get back our HP and stuff, we're actually going to neglect to feed Max um, for the first time out of three times. We're going to do this three times in the hopes of getting Bergem on. And although it pains me, that's just how it's going to go down. So, Max, I'm sorry. We will be stuffing Max up later. So, we will make up for the food that, that we're uh, going to be dodging our on right now. But, for now, we are not going to feed her this um, this lunch. She's making cuts. All right, She's making cuts for now. And uh, she's probably not going to be too happy about it. But... Okay, so there we are. Care mistake number one. We didn't feed her right there when we, we could have done that. So, another two to go, and I'll call you guys back for when that's happening. Alright, see you guys in a bit. Alright, friends, we're back into day 23. So, all that happened at the end of last episode is we've done a bit more training in the stats. This is currently what they look, right, or they look like right now. Max is age three. We didn't do any more care mistakes or anything. We fed our own schedule. Um, we did everything on schedule and I thought I would catch up with you guys just as we refresh the new day and do all of the things that we would normally do. So we're going to head back into, I think what we'll do is we'll train first then head out and do training battles and the reason for that is because I want to fight against the Betamon as opposed to, or the Medoki, Medoki Betamon or whatever the fuck they're called in the jungle. Um, rather than the little guys who poison you because they can annoy me a little bit so what we're going to do is put our hp up just a tiny bit and i would talk to you guys or i'm going to talk to you guys a bit about what i'm thinking in terms of the digivolution and what's going to happen with that so actually what we'll talk about first and this is more important is i think here we will choose to do our second care mistake so again we're going to avoid feeding max breaks my heart but it's just the way that it is i'm sure max understands i'm sure she doesn't i'm pretty sure she's pissed off right now i would be pissed off but we'll, uh, we'll see. This should make that hunger disappear eventually. Nope, she's a resilient one. God bless her. We're going to train up her speed here, actually, and just tip this into 100. So Max is going to be majorly annoyed with us. She's not going to want to talk to us. That is it. Hunger symbol has disappeared. Care mistake number two right there. So we don't want to overdo the care mistakes, obviously, because we could end up falling into some disgusting Digimon Digivolution that I don't personally want, but, excuse me, let's uh, fight against this guy. So, my biggest fear when we were going for Burgemon is that we might have accidentally tipped into Eardramon. And if you don't know what Eardramon looks like, I'll throw his picture up on screen now. He's actually a pretty cool Digimon, and I quite like him. He also has the ability to turn into Phoenixmon. So, we could have just done that Digivolution path. Um... But I thought Burgemon was a bit more natural. It suits the name Max a bit more. And I, I just think Burgemon's a pretty badass uh, Digimon, in all honesty. So, Madoki Betamon dropped a small cover rate. Great, we can pick that up. Uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, but we can't Digivolve from Beamon into Eardramon anymore because Eardramon requires less than one care mistake. So, as we now have two, that should be that Digivolution option sliced out of the picture. Which makes our chances of getting Bergemon slightly higher, uh, I guess. But it also increases our, our chances of getting something annoying. I will I will point out right now that Kokotorimon is actually a Digivolution possibility here. We could go from Beamon into Kokotorimon. Which could be fine, I guess. It would just make my heart feel really bad inside, you know. Uh, obviously, we want to go for that Bergemon 
pick up all those sexy fire moves that we never picked up with Greymon that we missed the opportunity to pick up. Um, the flame breath move, whatever that is, the big fire breath. Um, the the one that Gardramon shoots at us, which is like the laser beam thing that he shoots out of his hand. Burgermon can also um, do that, I believe. because it, Or at least the Burgermon that we fought up in Great Canyon knew those moves. We could feed Max here. I think what we're going to do is feed Max. Are we going to do this? Let's just use this as the moment to... This is going to be our third and final care mistake. And we are going to completely feed Max as normal, treat Max as normal after this. As we try and get her weight back up to 15. So with a bit of luck here, this is going to... Okay, never mind. That's not going to skip... It's not going to skip over like I thought. We'll do one more training session and that should be our third and final care mistake. And that's it. From now on, we feed Max as normal. So, I don't think Max is ready to digivolve just yet because she is... She's age three and we have only had her for a day or two. So, let's tra keep training up our offense until she needs fed again. And then we'll start giving her the sirloins we need to get that weight up to 15 and so that is uh, definitely going to happen let's take her to the bathroom real quick this is going to put our weight even further down but that shouldn't be a problem i'm going to take her back into the gym and continue training her up all right friends we are back once again into day 24 and max is now age four so this is the next advancement in our road to getting Max to Digivolve. Let's see what happens today. Now, I don't think that today is her Digivolution date, but as I have been wrong in the past, I could be wrong again. I always manage to fuck this up somehow. I always get um, muddled in terms of how long we've been alive on certain types of Digimon. And I actually don't think she Digivolves today. I'm pretty sure it's tomorrow. So we sh should still have time to be running about, doing some battles and picking up some last minute stats we've got all of our um care mistakes at this point so we don't need to be messing around with any of that so we will take max to the bathroom pick up some meat for the day and also maybe go and do some more battles i think could maybe actually do a bit of exploring as well while we're waiting on our old pal here to digivolve let's pick up our meat first and foremost and I don't think it's time for us to visit Dromojimon yet, but let's have a quick peek anyway. Pretty sure it's tomorrow he comes back. No, he's here. Awesome. So, you know what? We've got some tre treasure and we pick up a super or special or self-speed disc, whichever it is that you want to call it. Let's send them away again. Mm, you know what? Let's send Dromojimon away on the 10 day um, trip. So day 24, it'll be day 4 when he comes back I think. 6. Yeah, that sounds about right. We will see if we can uh, pick up something a little more interesting than what we've been getting so far. Because although we're quite happy with our um, speed discs, super boost, so that could be a super speed disc. Um, these aren't really, I would like to get some Digivolution items. Because although Digivolution items, when you use them, we haven't talked about this um, very much, but when you use an item to force your Digimon to Digivolve, it's quite similar to Next Order. When they reach that, that new form, they have all of the abilities that that Digimon will have, and they will obviously have a bit of stat gain, but they won't actually have as much stats as they would if you naturally evolved them that way. So, let's sell our special, or self-speed disc, super speed disc, whatever. Um, we will... Not sell our large MP because that could actually be quite useful at some point in time. And we'll head on out into the world. See if we can uh, find someone interesting to fight or something like that with Max. So, do we have porta potties with us? We've got one. Plenty of autopilots. Yeah, let's go on a little adventure. Because right now, as we are sitting, I am pretty sure that Max is set to digivolve into Bordramon. I could be wrong. We will see what happens with that. But. If we tweak her stats a little too much, we could actually end up sabotaging that. Because Burgermon's um, conditions, again, are 100 speed. And I think it's like tied with like HP or MP or something like that. His Her weight right now is fine because it needs to be between 15 and 25. 
and we could tweak a bit more of her stats but honestly we don't really need to let's go into here we'll pass on through the drill tunnel and explore along further into this part of the world because we haven't actually been very far here let's go through we've explored a lot to the eastern side of the island i guess that's that way for you guys watching but um we haven't really had a look into this area too much so let's have a let's have a little donder about and see what we can find if we end up running into some of these guys in battle it could prove extremely challenging so we want to be careful what we're doing here this is gear savannah we have never been here but i love the music of gear savannah so i will let you guys hear this real quick we've got a couple of unimons running about here now these guys are just going to straight up fight us, even the one that's looking very pensive and relaxed looking out over the water. If you talk to him, he will actually fight you. So with that being said, we have all of this area to explore. So if you look directly ahead, there is a big massive building that looks um, very factory-like. Uh, that's all I'll say. In the distance there, and we have our next area. Now, I really like your Savannah, but there are a lot of rogue-ass Digimon running about getting in the way and stuff. So... Let's have a little peek in here and see what we can find. This area is actually quite interesting, but only on certain days of the year. There's a stray pink Gabumon here, which I'm sure has a name. There is nothing here, but it looks like there's something could be here with this sort of grey patch. Remember, a few episodes ago, we talked to Shellmon, and he told us that there was a cool shop in somewhere called Gear Savannah. This is us now in Gear Savannah, and this is actually where the shop appears. But it's only on days 1 to 15. Again, I won't tell you guys what that shop sells right now, but that is the location of that shop when we come back here. Let's slide on past our homie here, up into the north, and see what else we can find in this little place. It's, it's, it's a very pleasant area of the map, this uh, Gear Savannah, and the music's pretty hip, and there's a lot of fun Digimon that, that we can actually pick up. Like this little guy. As you can tell, there's probably... It's probably likely that this Digimon is unique, as there are no other... Digimon in the area and he is also by himself. So let's talk to this little guy Elecmon haha <laughs> touch me and you'll get shot. So just talking to this guy straight up done 200 damage to Beomon Let's talk to him again 200 damage again uh, Don't you want to be here? Um, let's check Beomon's HP. So she has 616 HP let's heal her back up. I can't remember if we have to fight this guy there is a possibility that we do. Beomon's not going to want to take that, but we're not having that. Come on, Max. Let's behave yourself here, you little shit. Okay, there we go. Let's talk to him again. 200 damage. Ha, you've got guts. So, you're going to be somebody. All right, I'll help you. And just with that, we don't actually have to battle Elecmon. Ah, memory was a little foggy there, but... Elecmon shocks you three times. He does a percentage of your health and damage each time you talk to him. But then after that, he joins the city. Nice and simple. And we don't even have to fight him. What is this massive, enormous building that we have here? This is actually a doorway that would be normally closed when you pass through Gear Savannah. But because we have cleared out Factorial Town, we have access to this doorway. We're not going to go in here because all of the Digimon in here will thrash the living shit out of poor Max. I just wanted to show you guys that for a bit of... a bit of understanding of where we are in terms of orientating your geography of File Island. That is Factorial Town, and that connects through to Gear Savannah. We've got a Cockatorimon in this area now. Um, that replaces the Electmon. Who else have we got in here? Patamon. Hmm. Now, Patamon can actually teach us important movesets if we choose to fight him. Patamon is not a wild Digimon. He is another Digimon that we can fight against. And here is the boss music. So, let's find out if we can take this guy on. Um, this might be a little difficult, and we might have to burn through a lot of recoveries to fight him. But we're going to give it a bash. So Patamon has decent defense, and he's going to take us down a little bit of health as well. Patamon can use a move called Wind Cutter on us. And if that hits us, we will know about it because it will do a lot of damage. Hopefully it doesn't come to that, but... If he does use Wind Cutter on us, then I'm pretty sure we can learn it as Beomon. Let's use a small recovery in case he does decide to slap us with that. We don't want to get one shot. 
I think we're going to get to see Beomorn's ult this fight, which is kind of awesome. Let's wait for him to move and then try and use our ult. Power this up because we want to hit him with the massive slapper. And I didn't, I didn't manage to get that. 300 damage, that's not bad. Not super impressive, but at the same time, we'll take it. <laughs> Batman dodges that move when he goes into virus mode. There we go. And he survives with 3 HP, so we're going to have to use one more ability to hit him. Will that heat wave hit him? No, it won't. He's actually going to do his ult on us. We will proc. In fact, I'll let you guys see it. We will proc a small recovery. Throw that on our way. And that should be Patamon dead. So. Not too bad. But he didn't teach us any exciting moves. Which I'm kind of sad about. Pick up some okay stats here. And a tiny bit of bits. Pa Patamon. Let's do it again. Uh, okay. So Patamon isn't as simple as any of your other Digimon. He doesn't, he isn't very difficult to fight against because, oh dear. Okay, so <laughs> let's talk about this in a second. Patamon has to be fought three times in order to join the city. We're going to try and do it with Beomon. It's going to be difficult because we actually only have two small recoveries left, so we need to keep an eye on that. Hopefully we can take this guy down without taking too much of those in the face. Let's use a medium recovery here. This is a waste, but we're going to do it anyway because I don't give a fuck. Um, that move that he hits us with is called Spinning Shot, and it is incredibly powerful. It's an incre incredibly powerful wind move. If we could pick that up, especially for Burjamon and the likes, that would be awesome. Whether we're going to be able to do that, I am not sure. I'm glad we keep turning Patamon into this silly mode because he can't do as much damage to us. Although, it looks like we never got any damage off on him as well. We would like to close this fight out ASAP and try and beat him quickly. Because we have to fight him a third time and our HP items are kind of kind of shaping down a little bit. Let's see if we picked up Spinning Shot. Again, unlikely, but that would be super awesome. Okay, we don't. I guess that's cool. Are we going to have to fight you once more? We're going to say okay to this challenge and hope we survive. So. Do, do, bring it on, bitch. Let's go. Come on, Max, get in there. So that's Wind Cutter. That's another ability that we can pick up. We're going to use a small recovery. And this is kind of awkward because if we get hit by a spinning shot here, this could do a lot of damage to us. We are going to use our last small recovery Keep make sure our HP is topped up full. We're going to spam the MP floppies. And if we get hit by another... If we get hit by another spinning shot or wind cutter, we're going to have to just use a medium recovery because the chances of us getting one shot by the next ability is extremely high. Let's try and get some abilities off here so we don't have to... Okay, this is great. So we get him in this mode. Hopefully we can get a few more attacks in and finish him off before we take too much damage. I don't want to have to waste medium recoveries on Max here if we don't have to, but I think we're looking good. Oh, this gets dicey. If he uses spinning shot here, we could go down. Right, okay, I'm not going to risk it. Gonna use a medium recovery here. And with that, Patamon goes down. Will we pick up any moves this time around? We've had two or three goes at this. Let's see if we do. No, we don't. Okay. So there are other abilities or other Digimon who can teach us those particular moves in other parts of the world. We can go and get those from that Digimon then. I guess we don't get lucky at this time. You can't win them all. We did actually pick up moves from both Jiromon and Meteormon on our first try, which is pretty mind-blowing so i guess we can't we can't get them from all the digimon and with that patamon uses all of our all of our small recoveries and joins the say awesome so that is yet another digimon in our collection of homies what's going on in here hey you look a lot like max welcome ladies and gents to one of the most annoying recruitment digimon in the game so beomon has a mini game luckily we don't have to fight her but what happens is Beomon plays hide and seek and she won't join you until you get her in the right place. Now she's going to run somewhere and you need to run ahead and catch her in the place that she goes. So we're going to follow her down here and talk to her again and see what our character says. Just for a bit of understanding. I'm here again. Not again, wait. So she runs off every single time. Bye, she says. 
if we go on like this we'll just repeat so what the character's saying is if we go down and follow bm1 everywhere she's just going to run away we need to go to one of the places that she's going to go and cut her off so let's go over to one of the other areas and see if we can catch her in the right place this is complete rng sometimes you can get it first time sometimes it doesn't work until four or five goes let's find out if we uh, if we get it this this time it's not looking positive he went to the wrong place so just like that we're gonna go and find beomon again She's in there let's wait here max gonna uh, kick her ass see if she'll run up to us she does finally we finally got it right again i don't think there's a pattern to doing that correctly i think it's just um a bit of luck but with that beomon um is is going to be caught don't panic we're not the bad guys here we are considering breaking your legs but other than that are you the famous digimon kidnapper um no maybe sometimes only on the weekdays wolfie tries to convince beomon i see it's my mistake i'll go to the side and with that beomon is another recruitment so we're actually doing pretty good here in gear savannah i think what we'll do is we will head back to the city and try and finish off a bit more of these digivolution requirements we've got a few recruitment characters we could actually bounce around and talk to a few of them uh, and see what they're actually up to so let's go down here we've got Alecmon, Patamon and Biomon are the three people we just recruited let's find out if any of them are chilling here so he isn't actually here at the moment but what Alecmon actually does is install these tiny little circles on the ground so there's one there and if you look closely there's one over here as well these actually light up at night time and electmon powers the city with lights and uh, i guess electricity inside the shop we will find patamon so we've acquired a new um shopkeeper which will hopefully expand our inventory now i don't actually know if it's actual items that we can buy from here it looks like there's not a lot of new stuff but what we do actually have is this machine over here what is this it's a Digimon card vending machine uh, for 100 bits. Let's try it. So, our first ever Digimon card. Whether you guys knew this or not, there are actually Digimon trading cards in this game. And our first ever card was Ninjamon. So, later on in the game, we will come across more to do with Digimon cards. We will be able to pick them up from different places that I won't mention. Um, but one of the places you can actually pick them up one at a time for 100 bits each is here. Now, the Digimon cards do actually have a use later on in the game but i won't spoil what that is for just now so if we come down into here this is the secret item shop we haven't been in here before because i was going to take these down here at the end of last episode but phil passed away and that um that triggered uh a memory loss in jack so we're actually going to feed um max a digi mushroom here because we don't want to make her weight go up too far and she's full okay awesome let's talk to noonamon Hey, hold on, I mean, what shop is this? Is this my shop? Buy something, please. So, let's have a look and see what Numamon can find us. He can sell us an enemy repel and also an enemy bell. So we can attract enemies and make enemies run away from us. So, that's a special item that we could potentially pick up later on. It's kind of like Pokemon if you're running through the grass and you don't want to... Um, if you want to avoid encounters, I guess it's similar to that. It'll make enemies run away. So, Ninjamon actually tells you all about items... That's all he does when he um, appears here. But I'm pretty sure he actually opens the hidden item shop in the first place. So although he doesn't actually provide us with the service himself, he actually opens that part of the wall. If we were to come in here before, this would just be a metal door and we wouldn't be able to um, access that. Who else have we got in here? Beomon. Again, another shopkeeper. Um, and she actually has changed the items here okay awesome so maybe depending on what shopkeepers in we can buy different things because when we were in here a second ago this double floppy wasn't here instead it was an omnipotent so patamon will sell us an omnipotent uh, Beomon will sell us a double flop and also it looks like super recoveries as well so maybe the different shopkeepers actually sell us different items there you go let's head on out of here and i think by rounding this episode up, we will actually try and get our Digivolution to go through. We're going to hit the gym until that point comes and we'll see you as soon as that happens to round up this ep. Alright, we're back guys. Digivolution hype. Let's see if we can nail this correctly and if we can get this to work. Fingers crossed. I'm praying. Let's do this. Come on Max, I believe buddy. Let's do this, please.
We got him, boys. We got him. Okay. Excellent. So, we now have Burgum on. We're going to tie this ep up. It has been quite a long ep, but to be fair, I missed you guys out yesterday. So, hopefully, you enjoyed this. We did a lot of grinding. We did a lot of training. But we also picked up three new city residents. And we also had, a, I guess, a few goes at picking up new moves. We will pick up new moves next episode. And we will see you guys tomorrow. So, enter Max. We love Phil. We'll pass him on and we'll do him... Um, We'll live up to his honour and do him justice. But with that being said, we will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Leave a, a comment and a rating if you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time.